Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. About a year ago to this very date, I posted a video of me making this homemade play button for passing 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now that was quite a big achievement for me. Um, I didn't plan on really setting up a YouTube channel. It did just happen. Uh, a video I uploaded kind of gained loads of traction. Loads of people liked it, subscribed to me. And I thought people enjoying something I've put online, I'll make something else and see how well it goes. And uh, and from there, um, the channel has just been growing and growing. So it took maybe a little bit less than two years for when I started uploading content then for me to hit the 1000 subscriber mark. And in, in the short period of time of a year, it was just under a year, it was a couple of weeks ago I hit it, where my channel actually hit 5,000 subscribers. So for me then to hit like another 4,000 subscribers in less than a year when it took nearly 2,000 to try and hit one, I thought was a fantastic achievement for myself. I never really thought it would, you know, really get where it is at the moment. I know it's not big by any means, um, but it is growing and it is growing fast. And I would just like to say a massive thank you to every single one of you that is subscribed and every one of you that has checked out my videos because it does help in the long run. Like I said, I'm not a massive channel by all means and I don't make lots of money from it. It is just a hobby for me. I do enjoy making videos, guys. And, you know, I do, again, enjoy uploading the videos for people to check out so, you know, they can see what other people are making, learn different techniques they haven't learned themselves yet and basically showing easy ways to make unique items with your lasers. Especially if you're making items with your lasers to sell, I like to think a lot of the stuff I've made and shown you a lot has been quite unique. And there's a couple of things that I've only ever seen I've ever done and I've never actually seen anyone else copy it. So yeah, I like to think I'm doing a couple of things right. Anyways, like I said, I made that super awesome video where I made this fantastic little 1000 subscriber play button wall plaque thing thingamajig. But today I'd like to make one for hitting 5,000 subscribers. And I'm not going to be doing a like standard wall plaque one just like this the same. I'm going to be doing something different. And today I'm going to be using something I have done loads and loads of different things with, but I've never actually uploaded anything to my channel with them. And that's with these little LED light bases. Now, if you own a laser, now you probably know exactly what these are and what they do. Um, but if you don't, you plug power lead in the back or put some batteries in and then you cut and engrave a bit of acrylic, put it in there and it shines through and shows like the design and stuff that you've engraved on it. Very cool little items. And uh, yeah, so the play button I'm gonna make for the 5,000 subscribers is gonna involve this and some clear acrylic. So my plan is very simple. I'm just gonna cut out some clear acrylic, like a circle with a little slot that will go in this little slot here and then engrave my channel name with 5,000 subscribers on it and have that glow through. So I've got the design ready, I believe that I want to use. So it's time to get the laser fired up align the acrylic kit or that setup and we'll get ready to engrave and cut this with the machine. So yeah, massive thanks to Aeon Laser guys. Check out the links down in the description and if you quote Mark AM, they will give you 5% off your purchase. This laser is so quick and fast guys, it has completely changed the pace in how I work and having a light burn compatible CO2 laser makes my life so much easier when doing things like this. So I'm gonna get the laser fired up, get the laptop ready to go and the design loaded guys and then we'll uh, we'll get everything set up and go from there. And I uh, hope you enjoy this one guys. Remember if you're not subscribed already, subscribe and let's get to 10,000 a lot quicker than we went from one to five. Right, so for this job, because I'm gonna be cutting out some acrylic, I'm going to be using the knife bed instead of the honeycomb bed. Because again, with the honeycomb bed, because it's a completely flat surface, I don't want like, any flashback to hit the back of my clear acrylic especially because I'm going to be shining some light through it. So I want to try and avoid as many scratches as possible. So luckily the Aeon laser again has this spike bed, but these bits are removable. And the piece of clear acrylic I'm going to be using, I've got a space here I can cut out. So I put that in the top corner. I can try and position these spikes like so. So where I'm cutting out there, I can probably go down another one. There we go. So the area I can cut out here, I'll just lift you up and show you. There's no spikes underneath, because I don't really want any, uh, any burn back or flashback, whatever you call it, to hit the back of this. 
So I'm leaving the spike bed we've got there, there, and then we've got a couple over here just to support it. And then I can just use this to move the laser head where I want to cut. And I can just set the autofocus with the one button autofocus, which that will set the autofocus down, registered and set at the correct height. So I'm going to use the built-in camera here to position this in light burn. So I close the lid, now the camera is going to be looking straight down on our material. So hopefully you can see this in light burn. Sorry for recording the computer screen, I hate doing it, but I have to here. You can see our material here, we've got the cutouts here, and this is our space we want to be cut in. So I can rotate my piece 90 degrees. Place that there. If we zoom in, we can see exactly where that is sitting. So we shouldn't have any problem cutting that out because I can see the square around it. I will run a frame on the machine just to make sure it's in the right place. But I guess if you're looking at it on the camera, it should be fine. And I was just a case really of setting everything up. So I want the text and the triangle of the logo to be engraved. So whatever is engraved onto the acrylic on here when it goes into the actual light box itself whatever's engraved should light up then and then obviously the red line is for cutting so we'll run a quick frame that is absolutely perfect and all i need to do now is just press go Right, so we've got the main piece of clear acrylic as cut out. That has come through absolutely fantastic. You can the thing is with clear acrylic, it picks up any sort of like fingerprints or anything, and you can see it so easily. And I've just laid this down on my bench by it, and there's all sorts of stuff on it. But it's fine. That looks exactly how it should. Now with this, my plan is gonna slot this into this and then when it lights up like i said the bits that are engraved should show and obviously where it's clear you're not really going to see it that's why i've got my laptop here and like the world's smallest usb cable but for this to kind of stand out a little bit more as you would have seen i cut out this little shape and i want that to sit over that so then the play button in the middle kind of shine through so that bit inside will be changing color inside the actual play button. So let's just take the uh, back in off of this. For this acrylic to be cut as well, I run it at 20 millimeters a second at 50% power. I probably could have gone a bit quicker because it flew through it with no problem whatsoever. So let's take that off there. Oh, that looks lovely on its own, doesn't it? And then we're going to glue that there. And for this, I am going to be using this glass special glue. So let's put a tiny bit there. And then we just want to place that so. Which we can see at the back. That is perfectly placed. Right, so that's dry already. It literally takes seconds for that glue to dry. If we plug them in, make sure it does work. Oh, these are bright. So with these, you can get these dirt cheap from a place like AliExpress, Alibaba and stuff like that. And you can get ones with a remote, but I've just got these ones where you just tap that button and they work. 
So let's put our 5,000 subscriber trophy into the light. That does look good, mine, doesn't it? Apart from all like the fingerprints and everything everywhere. That looks absolutely fantastic. Now let's compare this 5,000 subscriber play button. Is it really a play button? Trophy? Something? <laughs> Along with what we made. This was made pretty much a year ago to the day. And that was when I had just 1,000 subscribers. So I don't know how many of you are still subscribed to the channel now when we've hit 5,000. Well, we're nearly at 6,000 now, but uh, just been a bit of a delay making this really. But yeah, you can see how far we've come alone with the quality difference on that. I'll put a link for this video up the top as well if you do want to check it out. Uh, probably not a very good video, to be honest, it's really old, but... Yeah, that's how far we've come. But for all you people who have subscribed to me, guys, up to 5,000 and after, honestly, I really do appreciate it. It does mean quite a lot, because it means I'm doing something right. I'm making stuff that other people enjoy. And hopefully showing a lot of people different things you can obviously do, make and create, you know, with your lays and stuff. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to be giving something away soon, guys, in another video. Um, it's probably going to be a laser uh, to one of my subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, guys, definitely subscribe because I will be giving one away to one of you lovely people who are subscribed to my channel. And uh, yeah, it only took us a year to go from 1,000 to 5,000. Hopefully, we can get to 10,000 a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed, guys, definitely subscribe. Help us along that because we'll give something else away. Even if it's maybe 7,500, we'll give something away as well. Or maybe if we do it every 1,000. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how, we'll see how quick we get it. And, uh, but yeah. I think it's time to plug this in and see how it looks. All right then guys, so ready to turn this on and see how it looks. I've turned all the lights off to try and get the best uh, results of view of it, but I can see it through the camera lens now and just in this low light, that looks absolutely amazing to me as it is. I reckon it does anyway. It's quite a nice like trophy type thing with the clear acrylic and then that red bit on the front. And obviously we've got the uh, the text engraved. I like how that looks without the light, but let's test it with the light and see how that looks. Now that looks exactly how I wanted it to look with the bit was engraved inside the actual play button to shine through. Now so you can see the name at the top and the subscribers at the bottom. It's obviously a lot brighter at the bottom than it is at the top because obviously that's where the LEDs are, but I don't know if there is a way to have it a bit more uniformed around but it does look good it looks better in real life as it actually does in the camera lens and there's a few different colors you can uh, scrub through on these uh, let's have a look different colors of blue that's more of like a purple uh, the red isn't much to write home about there I don't know why the red doesn't work very well so there you go, it's got the setting on it, we're cycling through the colours now, so it'll go through all the different colours. And this is how I want it to look, you know, when I put it up on the shelf. So with that play button in the middle, you're going to notice it's cycling through different colours. Apart from the red, <laughs> I don't know why the red doesn't work very well. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like I said, subscribe if you're not already. I will be giving uh, something away very soon in another video. If you didn't enjoy the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, guys, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.